Hi, I'm Mike Biggs and welcome to Ask Mike, which is a question and answer session which is designed to help you as a gardener uh, make your gardening easier, more successful and a lot more fun. And as usual, this is a no-hype zone. Today's question comes from Matt from San Antonio in Texas and he wants to know if the small black flies he can see on the top of his potting mix walking and flying around are going to cause him a problem. These are probably fungus gnats or scarab fly. They've become an increasing problem over the last 30 years, especially amongst seedling producers, container plant growers, nurserymen and indoor gardeners. They love a warm, wet, organic environment. And this environment is readily supplied by the increased use of organic media and substrates for growing plants in. These flies can be found everywhere there is organic material, warmth and moisture. They often come in in bags of cocoa, coir or in bags of potting mix. They lay their eggs in the medium and these eggs hatch out into little larvae which are between one sixth and one quarter of an inch long or four to six millimetres. These larvae is the stage that causes the damage. Their life cycle is from egg to egg laying adult can be as little as 14 days in the temperatures found in most growing rooms and each female fly can lay between one and 300 eggs. So you can see it doesn't take long for numbers to build up. The larvae feed on the growing root tips, damaging them and forcing the plant to grow more roots. And this of course uses up energy that could be used by the plant for growing further framework. Also, they allow sites of entry for disease organisms such as Pythium. During the vegetative stage, uh, the plants tend to be able to cope with a lot of this damage, but it's in the flowering stage that most plants will start to deteriorate. And the reason for that is that in the vegetative stage, the plants can replace their roots. In the flowering stage, they stop growing new roots and they do replace some, but generally the numbers of larvae have built up to a point where the plant can't cope with them. So not only do they deprive these plants, these flowering plants of nutrient and water, they also create entry sites for pythium. And so the cycle goes on, the plant becomes more diseased, it deteriorates further and so on, and to a point where the plant can actually die, and if it doesn't die, at least it loses a lot of yield. Fortunately, they can be treated, but prevention is better than cure. And so it's better to start the treatment before you even see the flies. Treatments are available. Ask your retailer about Tannin, which is produced by CX Hydroponics. Well, thanks for joining us. If you have any indoor gardening questions, just email. This is Mike signing off.